Hey, good morning, guys. Gary here with VW Jawbreaker. Just wanted to say for those recent subscribers, thank you. I do appreciate it. I hope you stick around, enjoy the video and content. Feel free to uh, comment below on the videos, share your input, thoughts, opinions. It's what it's all about. It's not about me trying to be somebody. I'm just trying to share my experience and my knowledge and help you guys out. That's what the community does. We help each other out. So anyway, on to this video. All right, guys. So here's what we're doing. I've had this old transmission case laying around for quite a while. So today, we're going to go ahead and cut it up so we can put it on the engine and run the engine on the stand. Previously, I've just mounted a starter here and just left it on the bench. I've got a roll around bench and I just mount it up and do it that way. However, that requires me taking the engine off of the stand. And I know there's other guys out there that have done this video and showed you, hey, you can cut the bell housing, run it on the engine stand. Well, what I'm going to show you is how we're going to go about this and we're going to try to get as much of it covering that flywheel as possible to hopefully keep fingers out of there. So let me go ahead and start getting set up and let's get to work. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this engine here as a mock-up. And we're going to go ahead and get the yoke on there. <clears throat> and this yoke would then mount to the engine stand. So let me go ahead and find my hardware and we'll go ahead and get that mounted on there. We'll start taking measurements and I'll show you how we're going to cut that bell housing down. How I'm going about figuring this out, we could just hack this and call it done. But there's two things that determine how much you cut off. One is here's your main starter bolt stud, which is also your top mounting bolt that goes through here, through the transmission, through the engine. Second thing is, is distance from the back of the engine to the cradle here for the engine stand. My first measurement is I'm going to measure from the center hole to the edge of, edge of this yoke. And that's going to determine how much I can keep up top here. So we measure that. We're looking right about six inches. So I come over here, measure about six inches come just a little shy and that right there will be my first mark so that'll come up and come down just to about there because that gives me roughly three inches of depth which should be plenty brings me out to right about here which keeps it from being too close to the rotating flywheel so we'll bring that around there probably curve this over come across and then from here we can get a little bit more meat due to the fact that the starter goes right here and then here on the side, we're going to loop through, come down through here, like this, so we can keep all this meat and get rid of the center section. And then underneath, here's the bottom bolt hole right here, which goes through that. We're going to come around the bottom about halfway to the center ridge and then come straight back. So that should give some nice safety features. And I just realized you probably didn't get half of that. So, here's what we're doing. Once again, shaky shaky. We measured over just shy of six inches. We're going to come down about three inches slightly round it, come across the center rib here, come down around, 
loop around through here and then here's your other bottom stud we're going to go ahead and come down to the center rib and then back out and that should give us quite a bit of protection from that rotating flywheel make sense hope so because we're going to get to cutting all right before you start cutting with anything make sure that you have good hand protection eye protection and if you prefer ear protection let's start cutting Now we'll go ahead and swap over and uh, start cleaning that up some. Alright, now we got the flapper wheel on and we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up these edges some. That way they're not so sharp.
All right. Now we'll take it over and see how it fits. All right. I've not tried to fit it yet. There we go. Cleaned up. Except for the inside. Who cares? It's not like it's going to a beauty contest. Question is, will it fit? What do you think? You think this is going to fit on? You know what? There's only one way to find out. No, I have not put this on yet. So here we go. Bottom hole here goes in the lower stud. This upper hole here is the starter bolt that goes through there. There we go. It's on there. Now if I can just find a starter bolt and nut, it helps if I go in the right drawer. Let's see here. Got a starter somewhere. All right. That goes on there. Oh yeah, we're golden. Oh, I gotta clean that stud up a little bit. There we go. Lo and behold, look at that. We're not gonna get into wiring and all that jazz today. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually cut it properly so you have a little bit more clearance and safety from that spinning flywheel. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I wear the appropriate PPE. See you guys later.